Well, the superintendent refusing to talk on camera about this incident or the district's response, but I was able to reach him by phone and he says they've been having meetings with administrators, staff and teachers all week to let them know what to look for and how to report cases of bullying. Now they're going to follow that up with a school wide assembly coming up to talk to students about what some are calling the growing problem of bullying. <laughs> At this Nawada Park, rumors still swirling about what exactly went down on the bus last week and the school district's response. My action when I saw it was why the kids did it. I mean, it doesn't explain anything. Nobody knows the story. By now, a lot of folks in town know at least part of the story. A Facebook post with this picture of the boy's bloody ear has been shared more than 1,500 times. And back at the park, ninth grader Emily Bryant too high was on the bus that day. She didn't see it happen, but I seen the boy grab him and then I heard the scream. The district investigated the incident the next day, punishing the two kids accused of attacking a student. The superintendent contacted Nawada police. We stopped into City Hall, the city's chief of police declining an on camera interview, insisting he could not talk about a case involving juveniles, but he tells two works for you. An investigation into criminal charges is underway. Opinions about charging the kids with a crime are mixed. I'd rather see what the parents have to say about it before it goes that far. Yes and no, because he did um, damage his ear and that could be like a crime. As for young Chris celebrating his fifth birthday today, he no longer rides the bus after bullying incidents of his own. He and wouldn't so, say what it was. He just said the kids are mean to him. It's a problem the superintendent says they're working to fix in an attempt to put parents and students at ease. I asked Emily if she still feels safe riding the bus after what happened. Not really. Well, the victim's mother has hired an attorney in this case. They're trying to get a copy of the video from inside the bus, but district has said those cameras weren't working that day. We'll let you know if charges against these kids are indeed filed. Reporting in Nawada, Brian Miller, Two Works For You.